Greetings, I'm Stern, folks, and welcome back. Jaravan, here with a, an unboxing video this time. My uh, first brass anchoring purchase in almost a year. My previous purchase was a soprano trombone, which was a fun little instrument to learn. Uh, but this time, it's a new trumpet. Let me grab the box. Brand of a stag. Uh, it's the kind of brand that's built in China, and it's probably equivalent, it should be equivalent or equal to the quality that you'd find in a Mendini trumpet, something like that. Well, without playing around too much, grab out my trusty old Gerber. I was a military, I used this thing a lot. Well, slice the tape and see what happens. Other hand. And finally, the last end. You gotta be really careful about this. Ah, I say it isn't what it used to be, but here it goes. Okay, got the box open. Put this baby up and see what's in here. And I bought this thing off Amazon. I think it ran me a little bit less than $300, which for this particular instrument's not bad. Oh, well, yeah. And the box got the case. Wrapped in plastic for good measure. Set the box aside. I've got, I've got other purposes for it after I'm done with all this. Get rid of the plastic. Nice little stag tag with barcodes and whatnot. And a handle on it. And it's a hard, and what's handy is a hard shell case. My Mendini came with a kind of a rigid case, but it was cloth outside. This one's plastic on the outside. And the handy thing about that is like, if you're in a dusty environment where a cloth tends to grab dust, this is real easy to clean. My kudos to Stag for setting up a case like this. Now let's see what's in the case. All right. Normal silicone gel stuff for transport. Uh, clean cloth. Well, this little package has a clean cloth and... Oh, yes. Set of white gloves. One size fits no one. Um, I hardly ever used gloves. The last time I used gloves to play a trumpet was back when I was in college marching band because it was part of the uniform. Got a clean cloth. Here. Nice little compartment for extra, for extra stuff like cleaning equipment. Uh, okay, got a mouthpiece. I'll set the case down. Uh, mouthpiece. Wrapped in plastic for good measure for transport. And it is a 7C. When you buy a trumpet or a soprano trombone or a cornet or anything like that that uses the box system of sizing, the 7C will be the normal stock mouthpiece. And for somebody who's just starting out on a trumpet, it's a good general, mouth, general purpose mouthpiece. It's in about the middle of the range of mouthpiece size that Bach makes. It's a good starting point, then you can work from there as you, your armature develops. And, yeah. So this makes the fourth 7C mouthpiece I have. Last but not least, a nice, nice little wrapping. Is the trumpet itself. I can already tell by the feel of it, it's got to be pretty cool. It seems pretty solid. Uh, I'm not seeing any flaws in it. I better tighten down the thumb screw. Um, Standard lacquer finish, which is adequate for anything. Uh, third valve slide works. Tune slide could use a little oil, but not too bad. Um, valve action for being just out of the box without 
hiding hole. They made pretty well. A little noise, a little that not bad. Second valve slide pops right out. I've been fortunate. Every valve instrument I've bought recently has that because I've had issues. First valve slide works pretty well, so I guess it's perfectly functional. But that's the kicker of it is like how short the body of it is. That's because it's not a B flat trumpet. It's a C trumpet. Um, and I'll bring out my B flat trumpet. Show the show the difference in how the slides are. Because the total tubing length used on a C trumpet is about 93% that of a B flat trumpet. And uh, so, so the comparison is like if you're using the, the C that's on the staff that's normally used for tuning a trumpet, on a B flat trumpet you're playing B flat 4 because trumpet music normally transposes if you're on B flat trumpet. On a C trumpet, you play the C on the staff, it'll actually be a C5. Sorry, my pedal C. It's in there. Oh, this sounds a little sharp, so I'm going to grab my trusty old tuner. Just get this in tune, and I'll do a playing comparison. Oh yeah, it's quite sharp. Much better. So, so I'll play that tuning C. Compared to my B flat trumpet, I'm using the same mouthpiece as my trusty old Bach 1E that I've used for a while. B flat. I do a one uh, one octave C scale, low end. <laughs> Notice the difference? Cause uh, this thing's a major second higher than B flat trumpet. Versus and uh, so that's the difference. Like and the advantage of a C and uh, a C trump is not used that often. Uh, most trumpet players and it's something other than orchestra environment will use a B flat trumpet because they're easily available what everybody's trained on. Uh, the times where I've seen C trumpet used in some orchestra, sometimes solos in an orchestra, a uh, common case is modern performances of Gustav Mahler's Fifth Symphony, which is written for B flat trumpet, but the key is in C sharp minor, which are transposed to D sharp minor or E flat minor on the trumpet, depending on whether the composer decided to put the trumpet part using six flats or six sharps. But most modern solos actually use a C trumpet and keep it in C sharp minor. And it works, and it works, seems to work all right. Another advantage on a C trumpet versus B flat trumpet is if you're looking at standard sheet music, that's pop music that's written for piano and vocals or whatnot, or even soprano and alto parts in the hymns, uh, you can play it fingered as written and be on, and be on the right key. Let's see what kind of capabilities this had now compared to the B flat trumpet. Double high C, got that capability. On a 
Now that double pill C, uh, compared to my previous video where I did my review of my B flat trumpet, double pill C on the B, trap, B flat trumpet is a lot tougher because of frequency bit. <laughs> Double pill C on this thing is real easy because it's equivalent to double pill D on my other trumpet. I'll have to wrap up this video with a demo. That's a tune that I use, use most of on the trombone. Uh, Rube Bank Elementary and Intermediate Methods I saw three times in trombone keys of F, B flat, and B flat. And in my soprano trombone video, I demonstrated in the key of B. Um, so I'll demonstrate in the key of B on this. Finger like it would be on a trumpet. But I'll actually be in B instead of A. That's Bluebells of Scotland. particular instrument. It's every bit as solid as a mandini, probably maybe a little bit better. And and it looks like it's gonna serve me well as an alternate instrument. Uh, something I can uh, probably use from time to time. But it certainly won't replace my B flat completely. But it's an alright instrument. So if you're looking for bargain basement brands of instruments and you think of Mandini and you see Stag, uh, Stag's going to be a solid brand. It's going to be somewhere in quality between the Mandini and the Gene Paul brands. And uh, I think I'm going to like this instrument. Uh, there's some work to do to get the valves better, but they move well. But this is a solid instrument. I certainly recommend the Stag brand for brass instruments. And uh, this will be my wrap-up, and thanks for watching, and all the best.